On the eve of the Paralympic Games in Beijing, Sky News has uncovered evidence that hospitals in China are apparently being encouraged to abort disabled babies. The country is putting on another dazzling display to start the sports spectacular. But away from the Games, many of its 80 million disabled citizens face a life of rejection and abuse. Now it appears they may be facing something far more sinister. The Sky's Holly Williams reports from Beijing. Yet another Chinese extravaganza, this time for the arrival of the Paralympic torch in Beijing. Featuring able-bodied performers dancing in wheelchairs. Still, the carefully selected audience knew the script. Uh, this lady says that uh, we should support and encourage disabled people. But Sky News has uncovered evidence that China's physically disabled are facing not just discrimination, but perhaps something more sinister. We visited this busy maternity hospital and found it overflowing with pregnant mothers and newborn babies. The doctors proudly displayed this, a brand new ultrasound machine bought with money from the central government. Then the hospital director calmly made this admission. If we find the baby will be missing an arm or a leg, that's a serious deformity. We terminate the pregnancy. We don't let them have the baby. If they have it, it's a burden to the family, to society and to the country. We want healthy babies because they make families happy and our society happy too. We're working to improve the quality of the population. <laughs> that phrase, improving the quality of the population, is state policy and it's written on billboards in villages across China. A reminder that the government here actively encourages what it calls intervention to prevent the birth of disabled children. But China is home to over 80 million disabled citizens. Many of them face rejection, or worse, degradation, a life of pleading for charity on the streets. The only change wrought by the Olympics is a state-enforced clean-up. Beggars have been told to go home or face arrest. Liu Anjun accuses his government of hypocrisy, one of a few brave enough to speak out. <laughs> They say they're helping us, but in fact, they don't help us at all. Nobody cares about us. Their propaganda is very different from reality. Perhaps the Paralympics will change attitudes in this country, as they have in others. But for now, behind the carefully choreographed show, China's disabled face prejudice even before they come into the world. Holly Williams, Sky News, Beijing.